Nearly a year ago, we unveiled our strategy to increase semiconductor R&D and global manufacturing capacity in the U.S. and in the EU. This included a goal to restore European semi-manufacturing leadership. In January, we announced plans for an initial investment of more than $20 billion in the construction of two new leading edge chip factories in the U.S. state of Ohio. We also pledged an additional $100 million toward partnerships with educational institutions to build a pipeline of talent and bolster research programs in the region. And today, we are announcing our European investment program. It's bigger than one or two fabs. This is a holistic investment strategy, and it will create a world-class chip ecosystem that spans all of Europe. Overall, we envision investing up to 80 billion euros in the EU over the next decade along the entire semiconductor value chain, from R&D to design, advanced chip packaging to manufacturing and foundry services. Today, we are announcing our initial landmark investment. We are starting phase one with a planned 17 billion euro leading edge semiconductor mega site in Germany. We're also continuing our fab expansion in Ireland with an additional 12 billion euros in investment. But it doesn't stop there. We are planning a new R&D and design hub in France, and we are expanding capabilities in R&D, manufacturing, foundry services, and assessing state-of-the-art packaging technologies in Italy, Poland, and Spain. We are truly building history together. Why are we doing this? because the world has an insatiable demand for semiconductors or chips. As the world is becoming digital, chips are more critical than ever. They are the brains powering essential digital technologies for everything from education, business, and medicine to transportation, defense, and infrastructure. As cars are becoming transformed into computers on wheels and appliances have become intelligent connected devices, they rely on high-tech semiconductors. At the same time that demand for semiconductors has grown, the supply has diminished due to a disruption in our global supply chain. Many industries are at a standstill because they do not have enough chips. The recent chip shortage has reminded us of the risk of being too dependent on any one region in the short term. Today, 80% of chips are produced in Asia. Our landmark pan-European investment addresses the global need for a more balanced and resilient supply chain. We are planning to bring the most advanced technology to Europe and helping the EU create a next generation European chip ecosystem. European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen recently said there is no digital without chips. And she is absolutely right. And in February, under her leadership, the Commission unveiled a bold and ambitious plan to help Europe thrive and lead in targeted, sustainable digital industries like chip making.